Malachi Love Robinson, the teen, marched out of his Florida clinic in handcuffs. Malachi, they say you've been practicing medicine without a license. Sitting down with ABC News overnight, released from jail early Wednesday morning on a $21,000 bail after being busted in a sting operation in West Palm Beach, caught allegedly giving a medical exam to an undercover officer. Are you a doctor of anything? Anything at all? I do currently hold um, a PhD um, in what I don't feel comfortable disclosing uh, because that is not the issue here. Um, but you the treat people at your I office. Face now well, is accusations. The 18 year old indeed facing serious accusations from police, seven, including grand theft and allegedly practicing medicine without a license. And last in month, office, he yeah. proudly showed off his medical center to our affiliate WPFB. This is the New Birthing Life Medical Center. But peel back the tape, and the sign on the door has his name and these two crucial letters MD. And that sign on the door was actually due to be changed. There are many types of degrees out there that hold the title as doctor, whether they are a physicist or an engineer. Just because someone has a title doctor in front of their name does not necessarily imply MD. Have you had training? I have. I have shadowed many doctors. You're saying your training comprises shadowing other doctors, real doctors. That's your training in medicine. Your training comprises of a lot of things. But you weren't in med school. Exactly. So I am not, I am not portraying as, as an MD. I've okay, never said you... that I've gone to school to be a MD. But the teen who goes by Dr. Love does advertise an array of treatments on his medical center website, including phototherapy, food and air therapy, and naturopathy. I have been studying this particular field for a while. Um, may not have been eight years, nine years, ten years, but it has been long enough to, I would say, justify um, what I do. Including apparently treating the elderly. In a criminal complaint, an 86-year-old woman said he recently treated her for severe stomach pain, paying him nearly $3,500. What services did you provide in exchange for that money? I can tell you this. Accusations are merely accusations. And services, you'd have to define that. Um, whether she paid for me to just show up, that's up to her. You're not denying the fact that she paid you $3,500 or so, correct? No, I am denying that. Are you a fraud? Because it seems like everything you're saying to me is either evasive or an outright lie. I don't appreciate your tone. I don't appreciate the way you're portraying this interview to actually be. And then a moment we didn't expect. Are you in big trouble? I mean, it seems like you've spoken to a lawyer who's prepared you for to talk not only to the media, but the police as well. I don't know where you're seeing this information from, but it is inaccurate. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, questions. I'm going to have to cut this in this interview short. I'm going to have to cut this in interview short. And in fact, he did walking out the door. Now, we have a standing offer to Malachi to finish that interview. The teen has not yet been arraigned, but insisted throughout the interview he has done nothing wrong. He has also said that when all this clears up, he intends to open another clinic. Amy, George. Matt, we always appreciate your tone. <laughs> <laughs>